is Jeffrey. I'm your host Nicole Martin and on today's episode we'll be talking about the Public Broadcasting Act of 1967. Let's meet our contestants. First, our reigning champion, Ashley. How are you doing today, Ashley? Great. It's a pleasure to be back. Of course. Tell us about, your, about yourself. So my name is Ashley and I am a history enthusiast and I plan on becoming a high school U.S. history teacher. Awesome. Tell me what you know about the Public Broadcasting Act. So this act was not influenced overnight. It was a lengthy process due to conflicting events. All right, Brianna, how are you doing today? I'm great, how are you? I'm good, tell us about yourself. Well, I attend Cal State San Marcos and I'm a media studies major. And I agree, those events led to a lot of controversy that arose due to the opposing views. All right, thanks. Yeah. And lastly, Kazi, how are you doing today? Good, how about yourself? I'm great, tell us about yourself. So I'm a political science major with a minor in history with dreams of becoming a lawyer. All right, and what do you know about the Public Broadcasting Act? Well, despite conflicting viewpoints, the Public Broadcasting Act of 1967 worked to unite progress and a U.S. democracy by creating a system that funded educational broadcasts and programs that would be beneficial to society. All right, great. Let's get this game started. All right, let's get this started with our rating champ, Ashley. What category are you going to start us off with today? I would like to start us off with Public Sphere for 300, please. An American public broadcasting company. <laughs> Ashley? What is PBS? Correct. <laughs> All right, Ashley, next category. Controversies for 400, please. Okay. These two individuals were responsible for cutting funding in the 1980s. <laughs> Ashley? Who is Clinton and Bush? <laughs> Correct. Who is Bush and Reagan? Good job. Okay. All right, Kazi, since you got that question right, it's your turn to pick the category. Uh, people for 300, please. This individual reassured the public that the Public Broadcasting Act would do more good than harm, such as allowing the bill to have funding levels for 30 years and left it open to reauthorization in the future. Brianna? Who is Harley O. Stagger? That answer is correct. <laughs> Alright, Brianna, since you got that question right, go ahead and pick a category. Let's do process for 100. Okay. Who made the final decision on whether or not to pass the act? <laughs> Ashley. Who is the House of Representatives? Good job. That is correct. Ashley, go ahead and pick a category. I'll take history for 300, please. Okay. Who appeared in front of the U.S. Senate Commerce Committee requesting to help support the growth of national public television? Brianna. Who is Fred Rogers? That answer is correct. Listen <laughs> to the next question. Let's do people for 200. Okay. This group of individuals had various concerns about implementing this act. Kazi. Who is the committee? That answer is correct. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Kazi, since you got that question right, you can lead us into the next category. Uh, I'll do process for 500, please. Okay. <clears throat> Who was the major player in the progression of the Public Broadcasting Act being put into effect? <laughs> Ashley. Who is Lyndon B. Johnson? That is correct. All right, Ashley, lead us into the next category. Uh, people for 400, please. Okay. Who said, it will give a wider and, I think, stronger voice to educational radio and television by providing new funds for broadcasting facilities? It will launch a major study of television use in the national classrooms and its potential use throughout the world. Finally, and most important, it builds a new institution, the Corporation of Public Broadcasting. All right, Ashley again. Who is Lyndon B. Johnson? The uh, answer is correct. <laughs> All right, Ashley, next category. 
I would like history for 200, please. Okay. Who found Americans needed public educational programs rather than a commercialized programming? Brianna. What is the 1967 Carnegie Commission report on ETV? That is correct. <laughs> All right, Brianna, lead us into our next category. Let's do process for 300. Okay. <laughs> What date did President Lyndon B. Johnson sign, sign the Public Broadcasting Act into law? Kazi? When is November 7th, 1967? That answer is correct. <laughs> All right, Kazi, lead us into the next category. Let's do current controversies for 100, please. All right. What is the use of media in a biased or misleading way? Ashley. What is propaganda? That answer is correct. <laughs> Alright, Ashley, next category. I'd like controversies for 200, please. Okay. Which telecommunications company had their local news station broadcast this, the same news story? Tazzy. What is Sinclair Broadcast Group? That answer is correct. <laughs> Kazi, next category. I would like current controversies for 300, please. Okay. What was one fear of the government funding a news organization during the voting process? Brianna. What is propaganda tool? That answer is correct. <laughs> All right, Brianna, lead us into our next category. Let's do public sphere for 100. <clears throat> An area in social life where individuals can come together to freely discuss and identify societal problems in through, oh, and through that discussion influence political action. Brianna. What is public sphere? That is correct. All right, Brianna, next category. Public sphere for 200. All right. Funding to public sphere for educational purposes. Ashley. What is PBS? That is correct. <laughs> Ashley, next category. I'd like Public Sphere for 400, please. Okay. This program changed the way people watch television. 80% successful developed short attention span for viewers and meddled instructional and educational television. Kazi. What is Sesame Street? That is correct. Jeopardy. Topic, famous people. You'll have 30 seconds to write the correct answer. Best of luck. Who gave this famous speech? While we work every day to produce new goods and to create new wealth, we want most of all to enrich man's spirit. That is the purpose of this act. It will give a wider and I think stronger voice to educational radio and television by providing new funds for broadcast facilities. It will launch a major study of television's use in the nation's classroom and their potential use throughout the world. Finally, and most important, it builds a new institution, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. Contestants, pencils down. Let's see our final answers. Let's start with Kazi. Who is Fred Rogers? Mm. Sorry, that's incorrect. All right, Brianna. Who is Ronald Reagan? Mm. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. And lastly, our reigning champion, Ashley. Who is Lyndon B. Johnson? That is correct. Congratulations, you won Jeopardy again. Without implementing this act, we would not have educational programs like Sesame Street to teach and engage our children at a human level and build connections. Just as Mr. Rogers stated, public broadcasting is a unique kind of funding in educational television. I'm very much concerned, as I know you are, about what's being delivered to our children in this country. We deal with such things as, as the inner drama of childhood. We don't have to bop somebody over the head to make him, to, to make drama on the screen. We deal with such things as getting a haircut 
or the feelings about brothers and sisters and the kind of anger that arises in simple family situations. And we speak to it constructively. 